You can undo and redo. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Keys and Dealip here, better another OBS tutorial. And today we're taking a brief look at OBS 27 and what's to come in it. This is the release candidate. You guys can get your hands on it right now. It is available on GitHub, so I'm going to leave all the links down below and everything like that. But bear in mind, some things still might change. Uh, so th this is subject to change, all right, potentially. But in the next few weeks, hopefully, we will see the full release and you'll be able to update it just via the OBS uh, application and you'll be rolling with these new features so uh, there are tons of bug fixes and stuff like that as you normally expect with any update there's a load of different uh, tweaks as well but I'm just going to highlight like three of the main things that I absolutely love in this version so the first bit is the undo value so let's jump into OBS right now you, you can see I've got a source here and I'm moving it around and I can just press ctrl z and it puts it back where it was How how many times are you setting up your layouts or something like that and you try and move something that you've you've forgot to lock and you're like no i've got to undo all that now you can just control z anywhere that i move it to if i resize it as you see in here stretched it did anything i want with it down here undo it wicked full screen it undo it <laughs> so you can undo and redo so using Control shift and z you can redo anything that you've gone forward in time uh, i don't know how many undo steps there are but i've not found any issues with it yet so no matter how far i want to go back normally when we want to undo it's just one or two things that we want to kind of uh, sort out so as you saw in the intro if i delete a source for instance like so we can actually undo that as well and it will bring it back so whether or not we change the transform uh, uh, filters so if i add some filters onto here and we'll add say the freeze frame filter like so press close we can actually undo adding that freeze frame all together so it's super super useful i, I love it to bits it's so simple it it's surprising that we've only just got it in obs 27 but obviously there's a lot of stuff that they've got to take into account when creating that sort of uh, feature but yeah we've got it now so don't you worry the next one that i want to talk about is something pretty cool and it's going to allow you to create unique transitions that normally we could do with a little bit of trickery with crops and different stuff like this so uh, a guy called travis uh, on uh, over uh, on github sorry travis mathis just here has uh, created a great example of this i'm going to use it for this um for this video i'm going to leave you a link as well to it so you guys can try it out yourself as well obviously credit to him for for creating this but inside of uh, OBS, we've, I've got two scenes, my just chatting and another scene just here. We can do some unique transitions. So if I uh, want to add a new transition, I'm going to add a stinger. Press OK. And we get this new section here. Use a track mat. So what this is, is you can define if you want two both scenes displayed at the same time as you transition because normally with a stinger you have it cover up the whole entire screen and then it swaps in the background so this will swap it at the same time let me just show you let me just show you so i'm going to use the video file i'm going to press browse and we're going to use the fire swipe just here so if i do the uh, preview you'll be able to see it just swaps instantly and we're just using because it's basically one solid line so if i just press ok and show you as i swap scene just here You'll see it swaps instantly and because it's basically one line that goes across we can actually tell it to put both scenes on at the same time so if we go into the edit properties again and in here tick the use a track mat and i'm going to use a separate file and press browse and you can see we've got this track mat so all this is if i show you the actual file uh, where is it just here i can actually show you all it is is a white and black line which is basically lined up exactly the same as this one like so so if i add this track map onto this file and press preview you can see it keeps both scenes on at the same time until it finishes that transition so it's, both scenes are active but one's taking up the black spot one's taking up the white spot if i invert it for instance you'll see it does it the opposite way round 
depending on which one you wanted to go to. So it depends on your setup what you what you're going to be doing it. So invert it as you can see, but obviously because we're changing to B, it's going to flash up like so. So you need to make sure you've got it the right way around. It's just there to make it a bit easier when you are making your transitions, depending on which one or how you want it to be. So if I just press OK now, and because the transition point's on zero, it's going to transition straight away. As we transition now, how cool is that? So it means that we can have both scenes on and make some really unique transitions. This is like brand new. I mean, we could have done these sort of things in the past using multiple move sources and values and stuff like that, but it's very complicated. But now we've got an extra mask. We can literally, like, you will your oyster on creating transitions, okay? Like, trust me, it's amazing. So if you want to test it out yourself, there's one already available. And to make it, like, say, you just create whatever stingy you want and then create a mask for it as well using white and black. I will put, if you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll definitely try and uh, create one. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So the last one that I kind of want to talk about is something that I've already spoke about. Exceldro. Is, this is Exceldro's beast mode, all right? So we've obviously got our, our sources just here. We've got the show and hide transitions. Yes, it's in OBS. We don't need any other separate build. It's all in here in OBS 27. So the show and hide, if you, if you don't remember at all, if I press fade on the show button, uh, and then when I hide that and show it again, it fades in. Not having to, because basically every source can now have have a transition i've done a full video on how this works so if i just throw in uh, i'm gonna pull up my webcam again oh my god that transition is absolute fire it genuinely is uh, if i do i'm just gonna do a basic color source just here and i'm gonna put it in this corner just here so we can see different things happen with it so i turn it on and off you can see it just turns it on and off but if i right click and go to show and I'm going to put on swipe, for instance. I can change all my left down, right, preview it, see what it's going to do. Swipe in, that's fine. If I turn it off and turn it back on, it swipes in. So, are you getting the feeling of doing some lower thirds and stuff like that? Not having to use any additional plugins to create it. You can do it all inside of OBS. It's the same for the hide. If we want that to hide, we can have that swipe out as well. So if it was coming in, um, we can get it to swipe out to the left. So if I do a little bit cropping or something like this, give you an example, lower third. I want it to be about here. Hide it. Pull it in. How good is that? Like, like, honestly, it's so hype. So you're going to be able to do all this. Oh, let me just undo and put it back to where it is. Oh, you see all this coming together? It's beautiful. Uh, there's other ones that we could do as well. You can use... Um, I've not tested any stingers and stuff like that, so that might be interesting. Let's add in this stinger, shall we, and just see what, see what happens. So we hide it. Bring it in. And it works just like a normal stinger would. So I'm wondering if I layer that up with the track mat as well... Um, use track mat, use a separate file, press browse, pull this one in, press OK, let's see what happens. Is that not awesome or what? <laughs> Able to do absolutely anything. We can use Luma wipes as well. So if I use a Luma wipe for instance and we'll get the whole oh, clock. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We'll go with that. Hide it. Show it. Do you see how powerful OBS has just got through just this one update? Undo, redo. Honestly, like I say, there's so many other bug fixes in there. There's so many other bits and bobs that... Um, and I, oh, actually, let me show you one more. Let me show you one more. I absolutely love this one. So I'm going to go to my other scene collection just up here. So let me jump into my Andy Lippy scene collection. Check this out when I first start it up. There's missing files. So it automatically pulls up any files that you might be missing. Because I use an external hard drive and I've got to, sometimes I swap it into my other computer to whilst I'm doing editing and stuff like that. And when I plug it in, I'm like, oh, cool, I'm ready to stream. And then nothing works because all my sources are somewhere else. So you can actually search directory and relocate them in here. It tells you what, what's missing, exactly what file is missing, if it's correctly named and stuff like that. Um, and then when, when you get them found, it'll all found... Uh, 
press apply. So it means if you're on a separate computer, you can easily just match up all your files, which is just beautiful. Makes it so easy to do. And like I say, there's loads of other bug fixes and everything like that. But this is honestly fire, this update. And I can't wait for you guys to get it get it just play around with it i can't wait to see what transitions you make if you guys make any cool transitions using the track map please let me know i'm gonna do a um maybe maybe do like a showcase of a load of different transitions that people make and i can give the links and everything like that to your downloads and whatnot i'd totally love to see what you come up with okay so as always if you do want to support the channel and everything like that consider joining a channel member or even patreon as well because these videos take me a while to do and all the research and everything that goes into it i like to make everything nice and easy for you okay guys and obviously subscribe and like the video right put your rock in the stone and i'll see you in the next one much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.